is it? Okay, so this summer I had absolutely no idea what I wanted to do when I grew up, and I decided to like you know work at a daycare, just get some money, see if I liked it, and it kind of showed me that I really liked working with kids. So to job shadow, I love it's not working. <laughs> Click. There you go. Can I just use the arrow? Yeah. Okay, if yeah. it's space, I'll just do it. So when I job shadowed, I decided to job shadow a nurse like that works in Mother Baby because I love babies. And um, her name was Deanna Hodge, and she lives in Portland, I believe, so she's somewhere around here. Um, it's in the health science pathway, you know, the nurse, medical, basically basic medical field. Um, to get a job like this, you have to have a four-year degree in college, basically an associate's or bachelor's. Um, Bachelor's is basically becoming more like needed. Like you can technically be a nurse with an associates, but you're gonna have a hard time getting the job you actually want unless you have a bachelor degree. And um, but Deanna says you never stop learning. Like you constantly have to go to those classes to keep you updated on things changing and constantly. She said you never stop. The salary range is between um, a year depending. Now I'm not sure what that meant. I wrote it in here to ask you. It said forty nine to fifty thousand dollars a year, but then a hundred thousand in Lansing, Michigan. And when I asked, when Deanna was talking about it, it actually was closer to $100,000. That was about the range she gave me. Is, do you know if that's just RNs, or is that Mother Baby, or? Um, when Mother Baby, the 100000 came up. I don't know, maybe the forty nine to fifty was RN. Well, I know like Sparrow, they'll, when you start out, you'll make about between fifty and 60000 So, yeah. So if you think about twenty five to $30 an hour, translates to about fifty to 30000 a year, or 60000 a year. Yeah, well, there's a lot of- Some people work a lot in, Overtime, so that could get you up that high. Yeah, I think because I, like I had a lot of things to ask you about, it, like depending on what degree you have, and where you like what field you work in, mother baby, like because there's different areas. Like you could be a nurse tech or. I'm guessing that's a lot of overtime <laughs> for a charge nurse. Okay, yeah, because that's but, why I wrote, I wrote them both. I was like, a high. Yeah, charge okay. nurse is like you're in charge of like uh, six other nurses, so you assign them to patients. If something goes wrong with one of them, like you're there to help those other ones, but you're just you're kind of managing those six or eight. Yeah. Okay. Nurses. Um, the future outlook of this career, there was not information, not much information that I found, but um, talking to Nina, she said it was a very growing career. Like she sees more and more nurses come, and she's having to get more and more patients because they're actually short on nurses a lot. So she'll have like like six to eight patients every day, and that's a lot because helping her around, she's never has time to waste. Um, related careers are RNs and labor and delivery nurses, which is like right in the same wing. They go literally from labor and delivery to um, mother baby and neonatal nurses, which just work with the preemies and the like pre-born babies. Likes and dislikes of this job. Um, she did not have many dislikes. She just said maybe less patients, like you know, having more nurses to help out around there because she had a lot of patients. And the likes she said was very re rewarding, and um, she likes teaching the patients because before they go home, you have to, help to like teach them how to change a diaper and what to do if this happens, and like everything to look for in their baby. So she loves that part, and the, just the patients in general. She said she had fun. Why Um, spare. Oh, it's okay. <laughs> Some good colleges that I found that would be good for this career would be like University of California. Kaplan University, which was in Dav um, Davenport, Iowa. Iowa? Yeah. Um, MSU, U of M, and LCC. So, yeah. Personal thoughts. Well, while I was there, I got approached by an MSU advisor, which is really cool. And she gave me her number, and she like insisted on giving me a tour of the MSU campus, and she wants to talk to me about going there, which is like awesome. I was like, holy cow, this is so cool. And you know, I just thought nothing of it, but she kept approaching me, and that was really cool. And I liked them following her around because it gave me like an outlook on what I wanted to do when I grew up. It was a lot different than I thought it was going to be. Very, very busy and like it's hard to find time to sit down and like actually chart what the patients have done, which she had trouble with. Like you're supposed to be able to do that, but she couldn't. <laughs> so much running. So overall, I really liked it. It really gave me an outlook, and I just it was a really cool experience. What was most surprising about it? Like you're just kind of like just the the rush of it. Anything else? Or like. Um, with patients or yeah, the patients with? like they were like I guess you can expect it, but they were like really needy all the time. Like not just that, but like they were like like you would be protective over your baby. Like you don't want like they had trouble giving um the baby to Deanna one time. One of the patients said, and you just really surprises you like you don't want the nurse to give them their vaccine. <laughs> like that's what you need to do, but she can't technically force it on them. And you know if you don't if you don't want me to give the baby the medicine that they need to then. She can't really do anything about it. And like, 
you get a lot of patient information before you like go in there. Obviously, I can't share any, but you learn almost everything about the patient. Sometimes it just surprises you, like your background, and you don't really get a lot of contact with the baby either. It's mostly the mom. You just like you know wheel a cart around for the baby. The, the baby's on like, his little bed, and give him the medicine, that kind of stuff. You don't get to hold it, and <laughs> so it was a really cool experience. I liked it a lot. Any questions? Yeah. How many patients did she have? She had five when I first got there, which was a lot, like, you know, not very much. And five mothers? No, she had uh, two mothers, no, three mothers and two babies. One was a preemie, so that one was in intensive care. Oh, okay. Well, gotcha. but, um, I get what you're saying. Yes, but so when, by the time I left, she had nine. She got three, yeah, she, she got two or three more patients, I believe, and they all had the babies. So it was like, yeah, it was Ooh. a lot. Um, were there any that had, um, I don't know, like of their patients, was some of them had a C-section and some of them was like natural? Yeah, they had three natural, and they had, she had two natural and one C-section. So well, she had to treat them differently, like, you know, yeah. gave them different yeah. vaccines, check different things. And, yeah. Yeah, does a mom go there after she already has one kid? Yeah, it's like one of the moms said she had three other kids. And the, that's true. Well, you have to, like, after you have your baby, they have you to keep them there for, like, two to three days. Oh, yeah, they, it's a requirement, she said. They basically already know you just kind of sit there and, like, la da da but, yeah, you have to go over the umbilical cord and, like, because, like, some babies will have surgery, like, like a circumcision or something, and you have to teach them how to, like, make sure that's okay and all this other stuff, so. Did, uh, new mothers, or are they already? Um, I had one patient that had other kids already at home, and but one, two of them were new mothers. Well, like Alex, guys, guys two were like um, new mothers, and they were like really nervous. You can tell, so they yeah. just didn't know what they were doing. Right. <laughs> it was funny. Did uh, she have to do like breastfeeding education and all that stuff? Yes, yeah, some of them you did. Like, like sometimes they would have trouble, like it wouldn't be working for them. Yeah. And sometimes like some babies would be allergic to certain formulas, and that's really hard to pick her up to. So you just sit there and kind of like. Like, a lot of times she'll call her tech for that though, if she's too busy. Like after she had nine patients and maybe like two patients need like education on breastfeeding, then you'd have to call the tech and say, okay, she's gonna help you out with it. I have to go to the other patients. <laughs> yeah, it's a it's a big thing. I know for like, for a lot of them it's really stressful because like they want to try it or they, or they want to do it, but then it doesn't go well or like, you know, babies doesn't want to latch on right and so. Yeah, she said sometimes <laughs> the babies will just literally just not like it. They just won't. You guys laugh, it's a big deal for your kids, right? <laughs> <laughs> it, is, it sounds funny, like you're just sitting there like, okay, but they actually, is. they're having a lot of trouble with the babies. Right. So. so yeah, any more questions? <laughs> <laughs> MSU advisor, that was awesome, I was so excited. <laughs> hey, and let me just, that's actually brings me a good point. Like when you talk to like advisors and stuff, especially, like, just realize they're kind of a salesman. You know they were, I mean? they, like were they talking want you to go there. Baby. Yeah, she was they like, have certain quotas they really have to wanted me to go. And some of the private colleges, I think they like make commission on you. So like, they're gonna be really friendly. They're gonna be really encouraging to go there. And I'm not saying don't listen to them. They probably have like, good things to say. But like, if you go to MSU tour, they're gonna show you the bad stuff. They're gonna show you all the fun stuff, the cool stuff. Well, like, I'm just excited. Just saying, you know, <laughs> they're not exactly car salesmen, but they're not far from either. Mm -hmm. I, know. <laughs> I was just excited because I get to like you know awesome. go around the canvas like that didn't fun. Yeah, thank you. You broke my computer. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.